Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, don't mind how much of a hot mess I'm looking like right now. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, but it is time for my morning shot, which I will um, tell you about here in a little bit. But first I just want to give you an update on what's going on. Um, so it is Sunday, December 4th. Um, originally, my um, egg retrieval was supposed to be tomorrow on December 5th, but it got pushed back one day um, just because of scheduling conflicts on their end. So my egg retrieval is two days from now on um, Tuesday the 6th. I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting getting up to this point. I just can't believe it's finally here. So what's been going on with me is I... Um, was on uh, Lupron shots for about a month and they were fine. It's just a really small dose shot in the stomach. Um, the medicine didn't burn so honestly I even though I had to do those for a month like I really can't complain about those shots at all. And um, then a couple weeks ago I started um, estrogen patches um, which is fine it's just a patch but it creates such a mess on my stomach here you gotta see it those are the patches right there this is like the sticky residue that it leaves because I have to switch these patches out every other day and so I just get a lot of this residue and you know honestly I've just gotten like too lazy to take it off after every single time I take the patches off, so I just now keep it there until I run out of space on my stomach and I need to take the residue off because it doesn't come off. It's so hard. You need to like scrub it with alcohol. So um, I'm just very thankful that I'm not doing this during the summertime. So I have to like be at the pool or the beach looking like that. Um, so do your IVF in the winter if you're a sun worshiper like me. Um, Let's see what else. Okay, so this this is day four right now. This is why I'm awake right now is the to do the dreaded progesterone in oil shots. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like the least favorite part of everybody's IVF because I'll get there. You'll see it when when Robert gets back. He went to go get the um, the injection and stuff. Um, so let's see. I have to do that if this egg. Uh, embryo transfer actually works and I become pregnant I have to do that for the first 10 weeks of my pregnancy so a shot in the butt every day for 10 weeks I actually had no idea I had to do it that long but that's what happens when you do um, a fully medicated transfer cycle like I'm doing because my normal cycles are all uh, weird and they just wanted to have every single part of my cycle um, medicated so that's why and uh, my ice is here so I have this little ice pack put it right here so it's my left cheek day my right cheek is still sore from yesterday so I put this on here for a little while I'm also on um, an oral medication I'm on Medrol um, don't ask me what that is because I've looked it up online it had like 10 different uses but it's obviously something to help implantation or you know, they wouldn't have me take it right now. And um, after the transfer, I'll be taking um, some progesterone vaginal suppositories and um, also baby aspirin. And I'll be taking um, the, the patches and those two other, other things and the progesterone um, until further notice, just until they tell me not to. So it's quite a protocol and it's a lot to remember but um I'm just glad it's like finally here and I'm two days away from the transfer so I'm excited so let's see the needle Robert okay here I'll grab it all right so this top part here obviously this is the needle um it's an inch and a half long it's a 22 gauge 22 gauge, 22 gauge needle inch and a half inch and a half this is the progesterone and oil it's two cc's and since it's oil it's thick and it takes a little bit to to you know inject it um so yeah not the 
most excellent shot in the whole world. All right, so I'm just finishing up icing. I'm almost done. Um, the difference between the progesterone and oil shots, or actually like for short, the PIO shots, the difference between these and all the other shots is that once the shot was over with the other ones, like it was just over, but this one, there's like such a routine you have to follow after. This is like oh, such a process. <sighs> so luckily after the transfer, I don't have to um, do this in the morning anymore. I can do it at night, so I don't have to like wake up so early just to do this because this is too much in the morning. I always like want more time. I'm like, no, more time, more time. But I actually have to get up and go somewhere today, so I don't have time for this. I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't like watching. I look away. I usually like look at my Facebook or something when he's doing this. So I'm just gonna sing myself a song. La da 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 da. La da da da. And it's in. I can feel it. And the oil's just. It's an intramuscular shot, so it's going right there in the muscle. can feel oh it doesn't burn but it just feels like something's getting injected in my butt okay now that it's out oh the routine starts you've got to shake shake the booty shake the uh, medicine into the muscle and I have a heating pad on there because since it was cold in the skin, once I put the oil in, if oil gets cold, you know what, like it hardens, it kind of coagulates. So you've got to warm it up, shake it all in there or else it's going to get lumpy and it's going to hurt. It already does hurt afterwards, but this reduces the pain a little bit. So Robert just warms it and shakes my booty. I mean, the more he shakes, um, the less it will hurt. So I, like the first time we made, the first time we did this, we made a mistake and didn't really do it that much. And woo, my tushy was sore for two days. So now we do this a lot more. <laughs> also something I do is I have to actually like use the muscle. And since I'm not gonna like get up and just like start doing laps around here or something, I I will just kind of like do like almost like butt exercises in bed. Should I do my little butt exercises to get the muscle moving? Just got to get that butt muscle going. Work that medicine in there. And I go like that. So the good part about this is I get a butt workout. I decided that whoever invented the phrase pain in the ass, they must have had IVF because this is a pain in the ass in the most literal sense of the word. Literally and figuratively. Well, anyway, that's it. So I have my egg transfer on Tuesday. I'm gonna do definitely a video of that. Um, I'm gonna kind of like keep a, keep it a, the, our final decision of what we're putting in there. Um, I'm not gonna really say anything until t um, Tuesday because I don't know if things can change, but we're, we're pretty sure we know what we're doing, but I'll let everybody know on Tuesday. So uh, see you guys soon, bye.